What you have to understand about kissing is that there's an art to it and there is a science behind it. So why do you even kiss? Why do you desire to kiss? Well, one of the uh, many theories is that when we are close to each other, and you're very close to each other when you're kissing, you have the opportunity to kind of sniff out the person's pheromones to see if they're gonna be a good mate. You're able to kind of sniff out and see if they're gonna have what it takes to have a healthy mate, and all this is happening on an extreme biological level. And of course, right, when you are mating, you're having sex, and so what happens a lot of the times before you have sex? You end up kissing. So kissing is very powerful, but kissing doesn't have to just be done with the lips. No, there are many places to kiss a woman to really turn her on. And you're gonna wanna learn these because you're gonna wanna turn her on to get her really excited to be able to have sex with you. And when you're turning her on, what you're doing is you're creating tension. So I'm gonna be sharing with you a few spots that you can kiss her that really create and build this tension. And this is all part of my formula, T-E-D, Tension, Entertainment, and Dominance. And I'm gonna be showing you what this tension looks like on this level of being sexual with a woman, specifically with kissing. While there are many parts of the body that you can kiss that will turn a woman on, I found some secret places that I think you're really going to uh, have fun with because maybe you haven't heard about them. So these places are number one, right behind the ear. That's right, right behind the ear. There's a lot of nerve endings happening over there. There's a lot of nerve endings happening right around the ear, right behind the ear, and even the part of the neck that connects right up to the ear. So I want you to try kissing a girl there. Now, I wanna be very clear here. Don't just go for the kiss and go for right behind her ear. Of course, the way you're gonna do this is you're gonna start kissing her on the lips, and you're gonna slowly be kissing her cheek and then moving all the way toward that section right there that will start to turn her on. So this is a good place to start and then we will keep moving here and going to different parts where it's gonna be even more sexual and build more tension. So this next one might sound kind of obvious, but it's not just a place where you, you know, kiss in passing, but a place that you can really pay attention to. So right by her thigh, in her inner thigh, okay? Now, of course, if you're going down on a girl, uh, you're gonna be kissing there or kissing around there, but why not just stick there for a second and really, like I said, build that tension? Because that's what I'm talking about here. So really staying in the inner thigh, kissing her there, doing it for a while, maybe going to the other part of her inner thigh, depending on whether you're on the left side or the right side, and really focus on that spot for a while, using your tongue, using your lips, getting creative with it. Like I said, it's more of an art, so I'm not gonna give you a formula of kind of how to do it, but you know the spots and just have fun with it and see her reaction when you're doing it. The next one, this is really cool. You could use this before sex. You could use this uh, when you first um, see a girl that you've been dating for a while and you guys have already had sex, so you've already broken the, the kissing barrier. And I know this is not gonna sound very sexy, but it is to a woman. It's not a sexy spot, but there's something about this one spot that really, really feels nice, okay? That spot is the forehead, okay? The forehead is a great place to kiss a woman. I think, and this is my own theory, okay? I think the reason why is because when we were young, when we were infants, we would get a lot of kisses on the forehead from our parents. So it's like that spot is a very nurturing spot. We're conditioned to feel like, wow, when someone, kissing, when someone is kissing us there, we feel like we're being taken care of, we feel safe. And one of the things that really turns a woman on is safety, her feeling safe with you, safe physically, safe emotionally, like this feeling that you have her and everything's gonna be all right. So when you bring her in close and you go for a forehead kiss, and I'm not talking about where you go really quickly, but like a nice slow, like, like right there, like meaningful, putting energy behind it and doing it right on her forehead and then kind of pulling her back and looking in her eyes and then giving her a real kiss that can be a very powerful thing. Or you could reverse it. You can kiss her on the lips and then pull her in and then give her a kiss on the forehead. And you just do it once. Don't sit there, like I said, talking about you know kissing her on uh, the thighs or behind the ear. Like This is kind of like a one and done situation it's saying like, hey, I got you, you're mine, you're safe, all is well. I know that sounds kind of crazy. Like, wow, all of that from like a forehead kiss or all this tension being built from these little secret 
uh, magical places, but it's true. That's why I'm sharing it with you. It's so powerful. So what's even cooler is you can combine all three in an experience where you guys are either about to have sex or you're just cuddling, or you're being intimate. You can start the forehead and then you can move down to the ear and then down to the thighs. And again, really build that tension. If you wanna learn more about how to build tension with a woman and different examples of how to do it, you should absolutely be checking out my Hooked program where I talk about and break down tension, entertainment, and dominance to a full level that will make you understand and attract the women that you're with. And again, tension, entertainment, and dominance is used in various situations. Uh, before you meet her, uh, when you're having sex, uh, before sex, it's all part of the attraction and sexual process. You gotta learn it. Go to getterhooked.com to get that and write down in the comment below if you, and if you tried any of these out and they worked for you. I wanna hear from you. So go do that and I'll see you on the next video.